Our management at General Appliances has informed us that we need to accelerate the delivery of Project Superblend, our introduction of a new higher powered hand mixer for the commercial catering market. Now in this demonstration scenario the new design is already 80 percent complete and we already have most of the design, analysis, and manufacturing data for this project in our Team Center Express database. One issue we need to resolve quickly is the need for a higher powered motor for a new mixer design. We need to select the appropriate motor from our supplier's specifications and make some design changes to some of the mixer moldings to accommodate the new higher powered motor. We need to validate the proposed design changes and then update the tool paths that have already been calculated for the components. Now we will first log in to our Team Center Express database in our role of project manager and run a save search to find a list of all the projects that we are responsible for. We now can select the project called Superblend and you'll notice that it will appear in our data panel and it'll display a list of all the documents and CAD models that are associated with this project. Team Center has the ability to link documents to projects and to allow different levels of access to these projects and the associated data to different users. This is an example of project-based security. We will now select the top level assembly for the mixer and display the solid edge assembly using the product structure editor tool. The product structure for this assembly was automatically created when the solid edge assembly file for the mixer was saved to Team Center Express. You'll notice here that we have a lot of information for each of the components that make up the assembly. We can also expand the sub-assemblies and see the parts that make up those sub-assemblies in the top level assembly. Now in the panel we're turning on, we can turn on and off sub-assemblies and individual components. What we're going to do here is identify the top level assembly and we can fit the view using the tools in the viewer to fit zoom section and in this case we're going to turn off some of the outer cover moldings so that we can see the interior components of our mixer. You notice we can graphically select parts and it will automatically identify them in the bill of materials allowing easy selection to turn them on and off. What we want to do now is basically turn off uh, or actually what we can do is identify parts also and use our fly to selected and you'll notice it'll highlight and zoom up on those particular components so it's easy to find components in the bill of materials. What we want to do now though is area up on the armature and the bottom part where we're going to do some of the work. Now Team Center Express has excellent capabilities for viewing, markup, and an analysis of both 3D CAD models and 2D documents. What we want to do is go ahead and go into the markup capability and add, uh, add a markup to communicate the desired changes to the designer who will perform the design changes needed to accommodate the new motor that we're going to add. In this case, I'm just going to add a simple note to the designer of exactly what I want him to do. In this case, I'm going to tell him to, uh, that, that the new mixer will have to have or contain a more powerful armature. Now once I'm done typing this in, you'll notice that the text with the anchor turned on is, is anchored onto the part. So if the view's rotated, the text will stay with that part. Another note that I might want to make to the designer is which assembly I want him to actually start in to make these particular changes. In this case, the new mixer assembly, the HM5001. Another nice thing is we can save this markup information to a layer or for this demonstration, we'll create a snapshot image of, a, of the marked up assembly and store this in the Team Center Express database. I'm just going to give the data set name something simple like armature changes. And you'll notice that this image is automatically stored 
into our new stuff folder. So we can navigate to that new stuff folder and you'll notice when we get there you'll see the armature changes image. And what we can do is we can actually assign it to a project and add it to our super blend project. Once we go back to our data panel where our projects are listed, we can simply refresh uh, the components that make up the super blend project and you'll notice that the armature changes has been added. We'll now create an electronic workflow process that will ensure that the design changes are completed efficiently and consistently. Now in this case we're going to use a new product release process that will automatically route the proposed design changes to the selected designer, CAE engineer, and manufacturing engineer. Now Team Center Express comes pre-configured with several industry best practice workflows. However, the system administrator can also create their own workflows, which is what we've done here, to meet the specific requirements for their organization. Here we're passing from the design to manufacturing and then into the release status of 60. Here we've added all the relevant documents and CAD models that are required for the proposed design changes to the workflow. This ensures that the users will not have to search the database for the data they need to complete their task. We'll assign a name to the workflow and add the specific individuals that we want to carry out the necessary design, analysis, and manufacturing engineering task, and who will sign off on the completed design change. When this is, uh, when this is complete, when the workflow is complete, it'll send it to the first user, and in this case, uh, this is the design engineer. So basically we can go to the tasks to track and you'll notice that it has gone ahead and sent it to uh, the designer, Mark Thompson, to continue on with this project.